160512. So this will be video mix number 148. One is Enigma video mix 148. Just want to remember two little stories uh, of my mother before she gave birth to me she worked in several places most time in a bank but uh, later or at last um, in as secretary of a psych psychiatra psych Sorry, I'm more used to speaking in, in Spanish. Uh, Psychiatry in German. And <laughs> he, this uh, psychologo, or psychiatrist, oh, sorry, <laughs> how embarrassing, <laughs> just in the beginning of the video. <laughs> anyway. He liked to joke around and then once there came two lesbians <laughs> and they were waiting in the in the room and uh, of course my mother was uh, first there she uh, yeah secretary and then um, he asked, he talked with my mother, uh, what, what do, <laughs> he said, uh, 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 what do they want of me? I'm not lesbian. <laughs> and now, uh, okay, my mom uh, accustomed already, more or less, especially explaining that uh, there's much a risk of breast cancer and uh, I have four reasons, not just one, two, four reasons for mastectomy. And anyway, I explained before why uh, I want to make the treatment of testosterone. It's a little bit complicated to explain. Uh, there, I, Actually, I have uh, different priorities than uh, normal, normal. <laughs> the uh, most of the FTMs I have, uh, yeah, because of anorexia and all of these bad consequences. Anyway, uh, what I wanted to say, well, <laughs> then uh, if I think of uh, talking with my mum. And uh, okay, later I, I told you, yeah, my my okay normal effect of testosterone, the voice will drop, no doubt. But anyway, I am sure my voice will go up because I can talk like this because I'm innocent crypto kitty. And uh, if I imagine to talk with my mom, anyway, I really like to play me with my voice. Uh, it's it's much more con contrast if you have a deep voice and then you talk like this it's 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 even more funny i think don't you agree um <laughs> so if if i imagine to talk with my mom and she maybe asks me to 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 do something and i i i don't f <laughs> i <laughs> i have not much desire to do that i imagine myself already uh, telling her ah uh, what do you want from me i'm not lesbian <laughs> And another little story uh, with my mom. Um, of course, she's already 75, <laughs> and uh, the legs are not uh, the legs of a 20 year old girl. <laughs> and me too, I'm over 18. I'm twice uh, over 18. I'm uh, even, yeah, I'm more than 36 but no i'm more than 40 even and often i like to wear some uh, these uh, red stockings you know with these holes uh, because actually they are more resistant they uh, if you sit somewhere or you can repair them more easily than than these other very fine uh, 
Anyway, what I wanted to say. Um, I said um, here Gran Canaria, much sun, and uh, anyway, uh, with uh, short trousers or skirt. And I said to my mom, uh, why don't you wear uh, some stockings like me? Do you want, uh, look, you can have this one. And she said, ah, uh, then I look like I want, but I cannot. <laughs> I, I thought this is really so funny. <laughs> and this is how a uh, little bit how I feel like, uh, uh, I feel like, uh, <laughs> I feel very much the difference, uh, you know, when you are 40 year old woman, uh, you are over 40, then you have only less or half the testosterone you had in when you were 20 or anyway seven times less than men have testosterone in the blood. So I feel like I want, but I cannot. <laughs> anyway, it was really... <laughs> now I remember when I was in primary school, uh, we used to have these uh, little books in German. It's called Poesie Album. And uh, we gave to uh, the friends around us and they wrote a poem inside and uh, just now I remember one mach es wie die Sonnenuhr zähl die heiteren Stunden nur <laughs> uh, do it like the um, watch of the sun count only uh, the sunny hours or something like that <laughs> and it's nice to remember a funny quotes I think it makes you smile and by the way I'm already speaking about friends of school uh, just in my last video number uh, 146 I mentioned a little uh, my uh, <laughs> first uh, a love from school okay no not relationship but it's uh, just now thinking back again because of the topic androgyny I I'm thinking about my past and how I converted in that person I'm now um, and <laughs> Actually, this this was, or yeah, in that time, he was a female man, boy. He had lo a little bit long hair, and yeah, it seems like uh, I, long time, uh, really didn't want to pay attention to my sexual orientation. I was like, <laughs> almost like all my life working as a, a female actress. Uh, <laughs> lately, these last years, always with strong desire to throw the phone out of the window into the swimming pool. <laughs> but who, who will renounce a job when the if you count the <laughs> if you count the money per hour or the money per minute <laughs> anyway i'm not doing almost anything just answer the phone and that's it <laughs> mit no sorry uh t m i too much information <laughs> Alphabet soup. What's for lunch today? More alphabet soup? <laughs> FTM, MTF. Female to male, male to female. You have to learn all these abbreviations. My mom, I told my mom when I t talk with her on the phone, she, she almost has, she only puts, uh, 
puts off the volume on the on the TV, but she still. Um, while I I tell her something, she says, Ah, now the image is something on TV, and she doesn't pay attention to what I tell her. And then I talk to her. Ah, do you remember what is uh, what does FTM mean? And she forgets about. It. Okay, she's a little older, but she could pay more attention. I tell her I will make an exam, and I will ask. Ask you, did you really listen to me what I tell you? <laughs> the famous alphabet soup. I like this this word, and uh, I looked for some images on Twitter with these, you know, these uh, noodle soups, alphabet soup, and often um, uh, the YouTube channel. Truth unveiled 777. He uses this word, and w another uh, favorite expression of him is very interesting and suspicious. <laughs> I wrote a comment on Twitter. Ah, uh, um, it's all very interesting and suspicious. Uh, do you remember how often did you use this expression? 666 times, because he just made a video about this uh, mark of the beast, uh, Bible prophecy, Apocalypse 666. By the way, if you want to see some videos of my mother, Go back in my YouTube channel, Vanus Enigma Video Mix. In the beginning, I think 2013, I made several videos where she reads in German. I'm thinking uh, once again more about identity and names especially. I told you several times before I have different Twitter accounts where I like to explore different hashtags. And um, of course my uh, name number one is Vanus Enigma. Vanus is actually abbreviation of my legal name. And my second favorite uh, name and Twitter account is Innocent Crypto Kitty. Actually, I'm uh, more active on that account where I have uh, connected my uh, second YouTube channel. And when I click on that, I like a uh, video, it copies automatically on this Twitter account. And my third favorite name is Soul Confiscator Cat. Actually, I have many uh, followers on, uh, actually most followers on, on that Twitter account. Although I'm really not very active on, I just copy when I retweet from Vanessa Enigma Video Mix. And um, that account Okay, let's start again. <laughs> My main account and main first name, Vanus Enigma, I would use in the daytime. I like to go out in daytime. I prefer to stay at home at night. And um, in the twilight time, it's Innocent Crypto Kitty. And at night, when I can't sleep, I convert into a soul confiscator cat. And when it, especially when it comes to, uh, I haven't done uh, very few videos uh, looking straight into the camera, but I feel like uh, uh <laughs> in direction of hashtag verbal humiliation and dark humor, sarcasm, truth. Uh, look at the hashtags I have in that account of Soul Confiscator Cat, Cyberpunk, Soul Trade Game, 
wait a minute I'll have a look so at the moment I have the following hashtags in my Twitter account so confiscator cat cyberpunk a soul trade game creepy conspiracy comedy truth sarcasm obey a mind control Bible Antichrist 666 tax Jesuit Pope VIP uh, abbreviation <laughs> alphabet soup <laughs> very important person apocalypse dark humor and BDSM abbreviation bondage the <laughs> you know what I mean and in location I have found a state of Illuminati ah, and by the way have a look at my cover picture of soul confiscator cat it's uh, the flag of United Nations about the colors reversed so um, the countries are white and all the background is black and in the middle it's written the hashtag let's talk FE uh, with red color red uh, letters FE abbreviation for flat earth and right now I'm starting to listen to a video by the name Casting Precious into Cracks of Doom Androgyny, Alchemy, Evolution and the One Ring of Sep Oracle um, Sounds interesting especially before I listened uh, to some more videos uh, the combination of androgyny and alchemy and transgender and transhuman transhuman cloning interesting video of truth and whale 777 and uh, B.O.B. the rapper um, he talks very much about cloning centers and hashtag stop human cloning so the following uh, might be sound might sound very mysterious, but I just want to <laughs> uh, mention it uh, without going into details. Sometimes I feel curious about uh, knowing something about. <laughs> X <laughs> or X Y Z, but I feel really often like <laughs> very pissed off. So if you several times had some bad emotions, so you on one side okay you feel curious but on the other side you feel very still pissed off of the last time you got angry when you clicked on uh, certain places in internet so <laughs> this topic goes on not one topic several topics of curiosity androgyny <laughs> disturb the mind at night and convert you into soul confiscator cat so listening to that video I mentioned before I discovered a, or got conscious about one funny hashtag which is chicks with dicks and I just want to show uh, record a few uh, minutes of that video it's about at uh, minute 13 now I am just starting a minute 12 a second uh, 23 a state of confusion and instability and we almost very rarely show uh, androgyny in a mature and 
well-realizable integrated state. In popular speech, people continually confuse androgynes, hermaphrodites, transvestites, transsexuals, intersexuals, and bisexuals. For example, in Dan Brown's runaway bestseller, The Da Vinci Code, the protagonist, Robert Langdon, is lecturing a group of prisoners on Leonardo da Vinci. Da Vinci was in tune with the balance between male and female. He believed a human soul could not be enlightened unless it had both male and female elements. Obviously a great description of true androgyny. You mean like chicks with dicks? Someone called out. Brown may be contributing uh, to, to the confusion somewhat by using the terms male and female, which imply anatomical differences. Jungians use the terms feminine and masculine to refer to the complementary archetypal principles, which the Chinese called yin and yang. Masculine and feminine, yin and yang, exist in all human beings. It is not uncommon at all for a particular female to be far more masculine than a particular male. A couple of years ago, I gave a talk about Tolkien and androgyny and began by carefully explaining this distinction. Despite this, at the end of the talk, I was amazed to get several comments, especially from women in the audience who thought I was stereotyping men and women when I was referring to masculine and feminine. People are so used to being stereotyped by their gender that even these archetypal terms can generate automatic defenses. So now I stopped at minute 14. And um, if you want to listen to the whole video, because it's three hours long, uh, the title I mentioned before, but I repeat, Casting Precious into the Cracks of Doom and uh, <laughs> I still have uh, little uh, <laughs> problems too because it's really new this uh, this word sometimes <laughs> to pronounce. Sorry, cracks of Jerome Drenogeli, Drenogeni, Alchemy, Evolution, and the One Ring of the YouTube channel Zap Oracle. Published, wait a minute, on March 29th of 2014. <laughs> it's incredible. I, I feel like I'm really getting old <laughs> to, to learn new words, uh, especially these strange words like, like androgyny, androgynous, and, and mastectomy. Androgyny, alchemy. Okay, alchemy. I have I heard very often before, but androgyny uh, was almost like a new to me. <laughs> uh, just remember that I <laughs> uh, my mother language is German, and uh, okay, first I started to learn English, but then I was much more fluent, and maybe I'm still more fuel fuel fluent in Spanish than in, in English. Um, so, and concerning the age, it seems I <laughs> people say, ah, I must wait till you are 18. But uh, to me, it seems like I must uh, wait till I'm now I'm more than two times 18. And my seems it my, I must w uh, wait till I'm uh, three times 18. The German quote with uh, mit 66 fängt das Jahren äh, das, das das Leben an. <laughs> All people waiting you if they till they are in pension to go to Gran Canaria. Can <laughs> but my father died in the age of 64, so he almost like he didn't start to live. But I think uh, one, uh, maybe the main reason is he got this uh, very strange uh, illness. Vignerische granulomatose is an autoimmune illness and it, I think it's caused because he started to eat his raw 
cereal uh, and it was his uh, his digestion got like crazy and he got diarrhea and uh, and me I was uh, like 10 or 11 12 years old uh, age of primary school and all these books uh, he read I, I we didn't have internet at that age at that time in uh, <laughs> 19 in this 40, 30, 40 years ago. So I read all these books. I was very influenced. I got this obsession of uh, the body and I saw these fat asses of the women <laughs> and I, I subconsciously, I, anyway, I, I told before I started to um, at the age on at uh, three years old only to want to wear trousers, play with cars only, not dolls. And with the age of five, I cut myself the hair. Um, and yeah, at the age of twelve, I fell in this very dangerous anorexia. This is just the time when my father got ill started he was a long time he suffered but he uh, was still kept with, with these many problems many years yeah just thinking now we we had actually we fell uh, ill at the same time more or less just now i i'm getting conscious again about that fact in about, wait a minute, nine, uh, 1994, more or less, he had one dangerous operation. He got that throat, that hole in the throat to get, to can, to be able to breathe better. And he was almost dying when they, made this surgery and he told uh, my mom that he saw already um, people who, families who had died before him and um, yeah and one sister she uh, died very early and yeah but he came back And I told one dream I had just um, 24 hours after his death in one video with the title, Do you really know what you believe? Uh, cosmology is the title. The number I don't remember, but it's the title, Cosmology. And yeah, because it's oh, that dream, <laughs> incredible. And long time I wondered about the symbolism, the meaning of the dream interpretation. Actually, it was a nightmare, but it doesn't sound, if you tell that, it doesn't sound like a nightmare, but it's oh, it's incredible how much we dream if something really uh, impresses yourself a big impact uh, the, the last dream I had I didn't uh, still didn't tell that what uh, really happened but I made a slideshow on my YouTube channel, my second YouTube channel with the title Short Videos on a Cinema in St. Crypto Kitty. I made that slideshow. What happened in the night uh, between, uh, yeah, Easter, just um, actually we are celebrating two, day, two days after Easter, but it, actually it's on Monday. So that night I was like thinking very much about um, imagining 
Jesus going down in this underworld, Sheol, and then waking up again. And I feel like, oh, that was really my my arm, my left arm. Anyway, I have, oh, maybe later I will tell the details. Now I want to go on with my to-do list. Remember me to tell what happened in this the stream strange things happen at night what on flat earth happened in the night between uh, 27 and 28 if I remember well of March 2016 right now I'm thinking about the my cap um some time before I was wearing often like a cowboy hat um with like one a band one like flag or with a written um to advertise my YouTube channel Vanus Enigma um, but um, since last year 2015 when I ca came back from Germany here to Canarias and then uh, like the, <laughs> uh, the the wind got uh, much stronger and then I changed to to the and the cap again because uh, so much wind and I actually I really now lately I'm always using this headphone with a microphone at the mouth so you can can produce a better audio recordings voice recording and I'm just thinking long time I've on my to-do list to create produce another like a band or maybe print it on that cap and another cap I've got I don't know. but uh, no what I actually want to say is uh, I'm asking myself if maybe instead of Vanus Enigma which is my first name uh, maybe I print on that cap uh, that very uh, popular uh, name soul confiscator cat because if I I like to produce videos this way but if it comes to stand in front of the camera I got like angry and annoyed and I like very much sarcasm and I feel like verbal humiliation uh, <laughs> I have yeah I admit I have uh, suppressed aggression but okay I have very much learned to control that but um, yeah um, on my U Twitter YouTube channel uh, sorry Twitter account I retweet um, from Vanus Enigma so anyway if the people Google soul confiscator cat they will see it's immediately um, connected with my main name Vanus Enigma and I always feel like um, I have to hide my real identity you know look like look like God <laughs> why doesn't he show him or herself uh, it's like it said um, God created the humans in his own image but he made them male and female so if God is only one person he must combine these two sexes these two genders you understand so that's why I think a God and also the devil, Lucifer, however you want to call him, are androgynous. 
actually I prefer the hashtag androgyny because it's shorter but uh, I often have a look at uh, how many search results uh, are there if you type in in Google or in YouTube and um, it's almost the double amount if you put in androgynous in comparison to androgyny but I really um, yeah it's always <laughs> little bit a question of the length of the words if I always try to use the whole space in the title of my YouTube channels uh, and on my Twitter accounts in the profile and in the tweets I always like to uh, use the whole space and I prefer to just write one tweet instead of two tweets. Okay, some uh, this or uh, okay, sometimes it leads to confusion. For example, once I actually wanted to write Happy Christmas, but then I, I wrote something like Happy <laughs> Happy Santa Claus. Uh, it was that that comparison, like it's like stopping to believe uh, in in Santa Claus and uh, the whole topic of letters. Hashtag Let's Talk Fe. So still listening to that video and um, he men mentioned uh, the one uh, shapeshift shapeshifter but already before I had something like okay I admit I have uh, drunk a little another beer no one beer today my first beer no I actually I don't have intention to drink more I think I'm just preparing a coffee okay <laughs> don't uh, <laughs> misunderstand me so just what I wanted to say just had a little fantasy anyway I uh, when I explain my name to people on the street vanos it rhymes like vamos a la playa but uh, written with n okay <laughs> and I have I admit I have a little fantasy to go to Vamos a la Playa <laughs> you understand go to the beach with <laughs> and this goes really in sexual orientation <laughs> as I mentioned before I always uh, feel like the necessity to hide my real identity and um, just uh, this that I mentioned the word identity uh, Bitcoin dog <laughs> uh, talked with some other people about this topic and as he is very famous uh, and I know that I, he said to uh, let's talk Bitcoin people uh, <laughs> just let me alone of course if you're starting to get famous then you feel like <gasps> oh, I need to hide myself so why don't you <laughs> cross dress a little put on some female stuff clothes fashion and let's go to the beach. Vamos a la playa. Nobody will know because I'm innocent crypto kitty. You know. I want to tell everybody. It's a secret. Anyway, if I talk about something a little... <laughs> TMI too much information <laughs> it's often a more later in the video 
so people who uh, ha are impatient they won't get the secrets the secrets are often in the end of the videos <laughs> did you know <laughs> yeah it's true often the best parts are in the end or for example they uh, do like um, a ranking uh, 200 proofs of the flat earth or uh, the 10 reasons why blah 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 uh, often uh, the the, the most important um, arguments, topics are in the end. They start with number 10, 9, 1, and go! <laughs> I just want to record a few minutes of that video starting a minute 28 free health care to the poor, you're thinking of Jesus. How he's imagined to look, however, may be far more appropriate from the point of view of archetypal projection, since he has always been the bearer of an androgynous message. It is especially the Jesus who was edited out of the New Testament, mostly by the pagan Roman Emperor Constantine, in that infamous Council of Nicaea, or famous depending on your point of view, um, who expresses an um, you know, it's, it's, it's the one in the Gnostic Gospels, the Jesus, who expresses an alchemical gnosis of androgyny. For example, everything in this whole paper could not be said more concisely than, than what Jesus says in the Gnostic Gospel, according to Thomas. Quote, When you make the two one, and when you make the inner as the outer, and the outer as the inner, and the above as the below, and when you make the male and the female into a single one, so that the male will not be male and the female not be female, then shall you enter the kingdom. As Singer points out, androgyny is the act of becoming more conscious and therefore more whole. So that's how basic it is. Basically, Singer follows Jung's lead into alchemy, recognizing it as a science of human transformation with much to say about androgyny. The Taoist I Ching, which employs an alchemical metaphor throughout, emphasizes the need for the conscious person to follow the path of reverse alchemy, as it calls it, to regain their original essence. Acquired conditioning beginning at birth separates us from our original nature and wholeness, and the conditioning acquired from any culture is always full of intensive gender role programming. Aristophanes myth goes further and suggests that human incarnation incarnating into a gender specific body is itself a departure from wholeness. Recent research demonstrates that a good part of gender differences which were believed to be culturally conditioned turned out to have very strong biological underpinnings. Regaining androgyny therefore may be more difficult than even the heroic efforts necessary to break free of acquired conditioning. Some gender limitations may be overdetermined, with part of their determinative influence locked down even into our DNA. To become androgynous may be analogous to trying to break the source code of the matrix, which is multi-layered, including both social and genetic coding. The alchemists and consciousness pioneers like Jung and Gurdjieff understood that their work was contra naturum, you use that term a lot. It was, it was against the con enormous inertial mass of nature, or matrix. Matrix actually means mother. So now I stopped at a minute 30. Just want to repeat uh, one thought that I think I have said at least once. Uh, simply, if people stop uh, procreating, having children, uh, all the problems get solved automatically. As uh, like God wanted to destroy almost the whole world, just save a few righteous uh, people, Noah with the ark. <laughs> And I think 
endogenous people are more likely to be happy living alone, a single life, because they feel uh, they combine these two sides, yin and yang, feminine and masculine. And some more minutes are starting, a minute 46. Depression, a nervous breakdown. Uh, the image that you see in the middle panel of the Alex Gray painting, uh, which we included above, the kind of healing they seek is what the word healing essentially means. That is to be made whole. Okay, so that is what's happened in, with any illness is there's been a breakdown of, of structure, a, cha a chaos of process, and you want to get all the parts back online. And that's also what happens in the, in the painting, the Alex Ray painting. Painting above, I mean, art. Above this text in the online document. The object of this stage was to bring about a condition where a new union could take place between opposites which have been broken down through the agency of oper operations personified in Mercurius. Just listening to a minute 59, I remember uh, like one uh, nightmare I often had when I was about three or four years old. I always uh, dreamt of these contrasts um, and uh, he uh, uh, talks about more contrasts and I just want to add more contrasts cat and dog Bitcoin dog blocked cryptocurrency cat so I'm starting a uh, minute uh, 58 now a few minutes you see in the online document it's called, it's called the two modes of consciousness a tentative dichotomy and I'm gonna skip the um, column that says who proposed it, the sources of different of these dichotomies would just be too tedious to read. And I'm just going to give you these in pairs. And, and the first part of the pair is always going to be day, and the second part is always going to be the night version. So, for example, day, intellectual, the night version, sensuous. Time, history, eternity, timelessness. Active, receptive, Explicit, tacit, analytic, gestalt, right side of the body, left side of the body, left hemisphere, right hemisphere, propositional, appositional, linear, nonlinear, sequential, simultaneous, focal, diffuse. The creative heaven, obviously from the I Ching, the receptive earth, the feminine yin element. Light, dark, time, space, verbal, spatial, intellectual, intuitive, booty, Buddha, um, manas, causal, a causal, argument, experience. The emphasis on words may abstract the living reality of these forces. Understanding how these forces work in you and others is necessary to ground this distinction. So I just want to add, of course, God and the devil. <laughs> just writing some ideas in my to-do list. Uh, maybe I'm going to change um, uh, to profile pictures, one of Innocent Crypto Kitty. Uh, at the bottom I have the hashtag Let's Talk FE, abbreviation for Flat Earth. Maybe, I'm not sure yet, but I'm thinking about to replace that hashtag by androgyny. And uh, the similar profile picture I'm using in my Twitter account, Crypto AEV, is abbreviation for English, Espanol, Vanus Enigma. Um, yeah to replace maybe the hashtag let's talk FE by androgyny or in espanol is androgyno androgyno 
and in my Twitter account virtual diva v is uh, at the username and uh, <laughs> I changed the name a little other uh, uh, name I <laughs> put sexy shitty kitty <laughs> I made a video to explain why I uh, fell in love with that name and maybe there I want to include the hashtag chicks with dicks <laughs> because it's so funny and it remembers me a little like in the hashtag P in peace I've got that hashtag in the Twitter account comedy court JCCVW abbreviation for justice court comedy in virtual worlds and FTM, MTF, and so on, transgender. Just want to share an idea for another Twitter account, but I don't want to open it. You can open it if you are bored uh, with the name Alphabet Soup. <laughs> yeah, I think it's really funny because uh, so many abbreviations uh, for example a TMI too much information <laughs> uh, FTM female to male MTF male to female and of course the profile picture like a uh, real alphabet soup with noodles <laughs> And uh, one egg, please. <laughs> um, did you know that eggs are a very valuable source of protein? But um, of course, I have very much sympathy of people who have vegan philosophy like Patricia Steer. And if I remember well, Eric Dubay too, but it seems like he really uh, needs to eat a little more. <laughs> Especially a man often lack uh, the protein if they are vegan. Uh, by the way, I consume much uh, protein pulver uh, with soya basis. And um, it's a uh, vanilla flavor, and it um, instead of sugar or whatever, it has um, stevia. In Spanish, it's written stevia, aroma de vanilla, proteína aislada de soja, procedente de habas de soja no modificada. Geneticamente. Ah, yeah, this is important too, of course. Organic, not um, genetically modified. Uh, there's another abbreviation, <laughs> alphabet soup. I think uh, GMO. Genetically modified organism. GMO, alphabet soup is any organism whose genetic material has been altered using genetic engineering techniques. GMOs are the source of medicines and genetically, genetically modified foods and are widely used in s scientific research and to produce other goods. Okay, the following might seem a little like a TMI, too much information, but uh, it might help some uh, women um, for over 20 years. I've been taking the baby, uh, anti-baby pill because I was always very afraid. Uh, to get pregnant for any reason, in spite of not having any relationship, uh, uh, especially these last years. And um, 
you know that you may not take the antibaby pill with vitamin C and uh, if you're sick antibiotic is uh, can interact negatively too so you have to keep these things separately and I uh, always take uh, vitamin C, magnesium now lately uh, that since I've learned about testosterone I'm taking vitamin D too and um, now about one, one month I stopped with the anti-baby pill because uh, I now finally I got conscious that it uh, lowers the testosterone level even more uh, you know that it diminishes very much over the age when you get over 40 the women uh, no, I think this is one reason why I my uh, libido is under the basement somewhere. <laughs> so what I often did, um, I said, ah, okay, at that time I take vitamin C and then I have to put the alarm clock and, uh, I, and in addition, I often put something in the house to remember me that I have to take that pill. And sometimes I was taking vitamin C in the morning and the pill often in the evening. And it was often some kind of stressful, uh, especially if I was uh, out somewhere and the alarm clock goes quick, quick, quick. And that people ask, ah, what, what, what's the matter or what's up? <laughs> and I don't want to talk I, I do alarm clock because of that fucking anti-baby pill and when I heard about testosterone <laughs> my cat ears you know that I'm using the uh, profile picture of the cat my cat ears went like cling uh, when they said ah, at about a few months then the uh, period menstruation stops it stops really oh that's what I want <laughs> of course there are three things I don't like but these are nothing in comparison to the effects I want uh, the first um, of course you will lose hair that's why often people uh, make a break and uh, testosterone treatment and the second one is acne in the face and that uh, normally uh, you give injection and this means in needles <laughs> and many people are very much afraid uh, I'm not so much I have many tattoos too much tattoos um, yeah these three things of course, people who are afraid that the, dro the voice drops, uh, but I think it's really interesting. I like to play with my voice because I'm innocent crypto kitty and I promise you my voice won't drop, it will go up, you know? What do you want me to do? I'm not lesbian. <laughs> just want to record a few more minutes one hour 40 minutes uh, talk about masturbation so the prohibitions against masturbation in numerous cultures and spiritual disciplines including Taoism Kundalini Yoga and Tantra and states that it has no basis in human anatomy suggesting that it is based on archetypal material from the point of view of the Eastern energetic alchemies of Tantra and Qigong, ejaculation by males is in most cases viewed as extremely detrimental. While these systems have in other ways a very sophisticated understanding of human energy, when it comes to male orgasm they seem to view the energy system not as an open flow of energy but as a closed system with limited resources which each ejaculation permanently diminishes. But the body creates seminal fluid to be ejaculated and not to be indefinitely retained where it can putrefy and cause infection. Dr. 
Andrew Weil, go to drweil.com and type masturbation into the search engine. Re reports on an Australian study which finds that men who masturbate are 30% less likely to develop prostate cancer than those who don't. Anybody know, who knows how hard it is to find detectable, statistically significant correlations with many health factors will tell you what a gigantic differential um, this 30% is. I'm not suggesting that there is no truth to the position of Tantra and Qigong on ejaculation, but I am asserting that it is a one-size-fits-all formulation. Indeed, excessive ejaculation can be draining, particularly when conditions are more yin and less yang. And um, I heard about um, production of testosterone. Um, Okay, they were talking about sex, but in the end, uh, it's more or less the same uh, reaction, I think, uh, the production of testosterone.